This week, investors are paying close attention to inflation, as the US Bureau of Labor Statistics is to release its CPI for July on Wednesday. An increase of 8.7% is predicted, which is still substantial, but down from the surprisingly high reading of 9.1% last month. Additionally, the US Treasury Department's revelation on Monday that it has prohibited all Americans from utilizing the decentralized cryptocurrency service Tornado Cash brought more bad news to the crypto community. Bitcoin reached a 24-hour high of $24,244 before recently settling slightly below that. As a result of the price increase, its RSI reached 83, indicating that it had entered an overbought zone. Yesterday afternoon, Ether briefly reached $1,815 and has been flirting with that level steadily. It is noteworthy that its price increased by over 70% in July, mostly as a result of anticipation for the widely publicized merge in which its present proof-of-work network would become proof-of-stake. In altcoins, we see mixed emotions, as some are seeing a slight rise, while others are falling. More specifically, Optimism is at $1.82, minus 7.28%, Uniswap at 8.72, minus 3.44%, Cardano at 0.53, minus 1.25%, Crypto.com at 0.15, plus 1.26%, REN at 0.18 plus 14.19% and DASH at 56.77 plus 4%. On Monday, Crypto.com announced the acquisition of a virtual asset exchange and a provider of payment services in South Korea. These coincide with a dip in the crypto market, which has led a number of big exchanges to slash staff and reevaluate their expansion strategies. However, despite the recession, Crypto.com has taken a number of initiatives to grow such as his recent move to gain regulatory authorization to conduct business in Greece and Italy.